Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So on previous videos, I showed people how to actually set up OpenShot. And one of the most important parts was to actually get Blender set up. Now I use Linux Mint as my primary operating system, but a lot of people use OpenShot in Windows as well. And so on previous videos, I will show people how to set this up on Windows through a virtual machine. But today I'm gonna to be testing out the newest version of OpenShot and Blender because there seems to be problems with the versions of OpenShot and Blender here recently. And now I'm gonna try out the latest version of OpenShot and Blender within Windows. And in this case, I have Windows in a separate hard drive. So this is a dual boot drive. And so now I'm not running Windows in a virtual machine just to see whether or not the problems with OpenShot and Blender have been fixed. And so on the website right now, OpenShot, the most recent version is 2.4.4 at the time of this video. And so I've downloaded that. And I've also downloaded some dev versions as well, 2.4.4 plus a candidate release 2.4.5 most recently January 12th, 2020. And in terms of Blender, I downloaded 2.81a, and these are all the downloads right here. Now I've already installed Blender. I have Blender 2.81a installed, but I have not yet installed OpenShot. So what I'm going to do is install OpenShot 2.4.4 first, the one that's already available on the site to see if that works. And if it does, then that's great. If not, then I'm also gonna try the 2.4.4 Dev 2 version. And then finally, I'll also try 2.4.5 version. And so all of this will hopefully work so that you no longer have this problem. And the main problem that you have with the new version of Blender is that for some reason, it doesn't work within Windows. And so what that means is you're not gonna be able to do animated titles and animated, I would say clips that are already built in into OpenShot. So let's go ahead and try this out by installing OpenShot 2.4.4. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and install this version of OpenShot. And that shouldn't take too long. Okay, OpenShot has now been installed. Let's go ahead and open it. And let's see if we have similar problems as before. Okay. So uh, this is the problem that I'm talking about. Typically, whenever you install OpenShot, you have to set up a few things under preferences. Uh, there is a... Uh, Blender path right here, and there's also Inkscape path. Now, I haven't installed Inkscape, but I just want to test out Blender. So what you need to do here is you need to go to the path where the Blender executable is. So normally, all you have to do is go browse, and you would go into your program files, and you would choose the Blender foundation. There's Blender 2.81, and there should be EXE file here. There it is. So now that's set the correct path, and so we'll close this. And now if you go to title and go to animated titles, if everything works correctly, then you could click on these titles right here and it will show an animated preview. So in that case, that didn't work. No frame output was found in the from Blender. Okay, that's the error I got before. Hmm, all right. So let me uh, try this again. I'm gonna shut down OpenShot and open it again to see if that works. So let's go down here to open shot. If I could find it, there it is. And we'll try this again, make sure this preferences is, is correct. Okay, that is the right version. So let's try this once again. I don't think it's gonna work, but who knows? Yeah, same error. So the default version downloaded, you know, from OpenShot's website doesn't work, even though it's saying it's pointing to a version 2.78 or greater, which 2.81 is greater. So I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this version and now install the dev version and try this again. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do now is uninstall the version I just installed. So let's go ahead and uninstall that. Okay, all right. So now let's go ahead and install the dev version 2.4.4 dev right here. Okay, so now I've installed the dev version. Let's go ahead and try this again. It's gonna open OpenShot. All right, so we'll go to preferences. And then the Blender path, it already saved it, which is great. So let's see if this animated title works. Just choose any of these titles. Okay, that works. 
So let's see this one. Great. So if you were to click on render, it would render this. Uh, let me go ahead and try this. Let's try this. I like this Star Wars scroll. Yeah, so it might take a while, but let's go ahead and render this. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, the render has now been completed. Let's go ahead and check this out to make sure this works. So we'll go ahead and press play on here. And there it is. That is the animated title. We have our Star Wars scroll. And so it works. It doesn't look like there's any problem here. So there's a crawl. And so let's see uh, which version that we just tested this on. 2.4.4 uh, Dev 2. So that is the current fix. So if you actually go to the OpenShot website, if you just download the version that's currently there, this won't work with the newest version of Blender. However, if you do go to Downloads and then go to Daily Builds, you'll get this screen. And so if you want Blender to work with OpenShot, simply download the 2.4.4 Dev 2 version. So hopefully on the next update, whether it's 2.4.4 or 2.45, it should fix the problem. Um, as we have right here, let me go back here. See, so that works. So as long as you download this version, things will work as you see here. And hopefully on the next update, we'll get a complete fix for this for the version that's available to download on the website. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you wanted to see my entire OpenShot tutorial series, I'll leave the playlist in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below Check out my page and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.